All right, guys, uh, welcome back. My name is David with Casino Quest. I am going to go over some prop bets for you. We're going to introduce some basic prop bets, give you some heads up on um, how to bet uh, the center action, as many of you call it. So as you know, the stick man is here. He takes the bets. All you need to do is throw the bets into the middle and tell him, uh, tell him or her what you want to bet. Or you can always ask. You can say, hey, what's that number there? I'd like to bet that number over there. And they'd be like, this one, that one, this one, that one, this one, whatever you got. You can point it out. You can say what you're thinking of doing. And hopefully your, your dice dealer is happy enough to tell you what you need. Okay, so the first bet we're going to deal with is called a crap check. You'll see a lot of these on the come out roll when this is off. A crap check is a bet on craps. Craps are the numbers two, three, and 12, it's that simple. A lot of people will bet this roll when this is off because as you know, on the pass line, two, three, or 12 is bad. 7-Eleven wins, but two, three, and 12 you would lose. So this is essentially a hedge against losing. It's a little insurance policy against losing this bet. If you roll two, three, or 12, this money goes bye-bye, but you would make $7 for the craps being able to replace your $5 on the line, you make $2 profit, and you're still up to win again, okay? The next bet is called a C and E, crap 11. Crap 11 is a bet on the craps, which I just explained, and the 11. So let's say you have a pass line bet, and you hit the 11. You know you get paid on the line, but now you also get some bonus money. You would get 14, in most casinos, you're gonna get $14 for the C and E. Some casinos, you're only going to get $13. And we're going to go over the payouts here in a second. But first, we're going to show you kind of how these bets work, okay? So $2 C&E, you get bonus. So betting the C&E is like being either, either you're taking insurance, you're, you're taking insurance, and you're being overtly positive, hoping that you roll that 11, and, um, and you get some bonus money, okay? Now, remember, the C&E, even though I'm showing you the C&E when we're off, and it's a come out roll. You can bet any of these bets anytime you want to. So all this prop action, all this center action, uh, you can bet at any time. Everything that's on, in red on this table and these horn high bets and these hoppy bets here are one-time bets, okay? So that means on the very next roll of dice, you're betting on some type of combination. The hard way bets are all day bets. They are picture bets. They, they come like the picture, they stay the hard eight, the hard six, the hard 10, hard four, until they either come easy, like a six, two, five, three on the hard eight, or a seven erases all those, okay? But anyways, we're going over that in a different lesson. Right now, we're focusing on the other bets, okay? The next bets that we have are the horn bet. The horn bet looks a little scary. A lot of people go, what the hell is the horn bet? Basically, the horn bet is any of the craps plus 11. There's four numbers in play. You usually will bet the horn bet in units of four. Okay, so um, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm taking out the dollar. So dollar ace deuce, dollar aces, dollar 12, and dollar 11. You'll notice on this layout, there's 11 on both sides. Just because a lot of people tend to bet the 11, so there's plenty of room to get people's bet in, okay? If someone bets the whole horn bet, you can just put it right here. Different layouts have different um, places to put these bets, but a horn bet, again, is just four different numbers. So you bet in units of four, and that covers the ace, deuce, aces, 12, and 11. And yes, it's only those numbers. So horn bet applies to only those four numbers, okay? We're gonna go over the payouts in a second, so you guys get a little bit of a heads up on what these pays. Right now, I'm just sort of explaining the bet, okay. So three-way craps, you'll hear a couple three-way uh, bets. There's a lot of different ways. So there's a three-way six on the dice. There's three-way eight on the dice. There's also three-way seven. There's three ways to roll seven. There's three ways to roll six. Three ways to roll eight. Uh, and then you'll see, you'll also hear of a three-way craps. Three-way craps is basically just putting a dollar on the ace, deuce, aces, and 12. Okay. It's really that simple. So you'll see the dealers set it up at the end. They'll stack up the bet and it'll form three-way craps. They'll say, hey, I want a three-way craps. Why do they bet the three-way craps? It's very simple. Uh, it pays a little bit more than just betting on a crap check. So this pays seven times. Uh, so if you bet a $3 craps, it pays $21, okay? If you bet a three-way craps on the low side, uh, if you bet a three-way craps and the ace deuce, uh, and the ace deuce hits, okay, you're only gonna get $13, 
right? So betting on the craps is a little bit better, right? But on the high side, you're gonna get $28, which obviously is more than 21. So there's a benefit. So if you roll the aces or 12 and you have a three-way craps, you have the opportunity to make a little more money. If you roll the ace deuce, you'll make a little less. So that's kind of a decision you have to make. So it's just that simple, okay? All right, moving on to the next kind of bet, next kind of three-way bets, you'll also see three-way sevens. Now on this layout, um, on this layout, the, the three-way seven, it, there's no benefit to betting a three-way seven because you get paid for the same amount straight up and I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, for those of you who are familiar, so you can bet a three-way seven or just straight up seven. It, some of the higher end Caesars properties pay a little different on the prop bets, by the way. So that's why there's, there's, a, little, there's a little depth to this game, a little depth to the prop bet. There's actually three keys, three different keys that we teach uh, for dealers at the school so they're prepared you know, for any casino. But different casinos pay different odds. Uh, this layout is, is sort of... Uh, a little old school in terms, we, we're gonna need to update this. But anyways, all right. On to the, what they call hopping bet. So basically the horn bet is a hopping bet, c and &E is a hopping bet, but hopping bets are more commonly referred to an actual combination, a specific combination on the dice that goes on the hop. So, you know, ace-deuce, is a, that's a hopping bet, ace is a hopping bet, 12 is a hopping bet, but up here we have our hop bet box. So let's say, for example, you wanted a two-way four on the hop, you can just throw in $2 or, or any even amount, okay? Two-way five on the hop, same thing, any even amount. You can throw in a dollar each, you can throw in $10, this type of thing. Then you have three-way eight. So when you bet a three-way combination, you wanna bet three units, ideally. So technically, by the way, casinos will take the bet if you throw a $5 three-way bet, but your dealer's gonna be like, ugh, God, because the math sucks for figuring those out, to be honest with you. So it's better just to stick with the right number of units, okay? If you bet a horn bet that has four, four numbers, bet in four units. If you have a three-way bet, bet in three units. A two-way bet, bet in two units. It's just really that simple. Here's three-way seven up here, just like that, boom. Then you have three-way eight, you have two-way nine, and two-way 10, okay? So these are bets on the next roll of the dice. It's just really that simple. So anytime you feel like there's gonna be a four rolling, you can go ahead and bet the four, a two-way four hopping. If you feel that the next roll of the dice is gonna be some combination of six, you can bet three-way six on the hop, okay? So it's just that simple. I know I keep saying that, it's probably not just that simple, but eh, there you go, okay. You, you'll notice the horn high bets here, okay? Horn high bets, right? And all that means is you're gonna bet four units, like earlier on the horn bet, ace, deuce, aces, 12 and 11, and then one extra amount or one extra unit on whichever high you want, okay? So this is a common thing on a dice game. It's more often than not, it's bet on the come out roll. So let's say, for example, you're, really, you're more confident that a 12 is gonna roll. You would bet a horn high 12. And in this case, all it means is there's $2 on the 12, a dollar on the aces, a dollar on the ace deuce, and a dollar on the 11. If you bet horn high ace deuce, it just means one extra unit on the ace deuce, and so forth. Horn high yo, one extra unit on the horn high, on the yo. Okay, horn high aces, one extra unit on the aces. Now I'm using dollars for the sake of this display, but let's say for example, you were betting, you want a $20 horn bet, okay? That's $5 on these numbers, okay? So if you were to say, I want a $25 horn high tw uh, 12, that means that there's $10 on the horn on the 12, $5 on the aces, $5 on the ace deuce, and $5 on 11. It's really that simple. I mean, it looks, it looks a little confusing, I can see, like, but if you just look at everything as its own individual bet, it gets a lot easier. Okay, so now we're gonna go over just real quickly some of the basic keys that we use to help people um, so you know what you're getting paid. I know a lot of people are worried when they bet up here because they wanna make sure they're getting the right amount of money back. So we have a few, we have a few keys. I'm just gonna go over one of them right now for you to keep everything kind of simple. Um, it gets a little complex. We may need to put a worksheet up there for you guys to kind of you know, see how it works. Those, by the way, will always be on Patreon, $10 tier. Uh, so, you know, we put a lot of work into those and try to make those available to you so you have something to use uh, 
to help you better understand the game of dice, okay? So the way this works is C and E, there's basically two numbers in play. Uh, most casinos with the craps, with crap 11, it's three times the bet on the C side. So here, well, let's start at the craps. Craps is really just seven times whatever's bet there. So in this case, seven times five is 35. I'm gonna keep the dollars so you guys can break it down and sort of compound it yourself. But a $1 crap check pays $7 and still up to win. So if it hits, okay, so it's seven times the bet. An 11 is basically just every, every dollar pays 15. Um, in some places it's, it's 16 minus the one, so it's $15, okay? Uh, in this case though, it's a two-way bet, right? You have the C and E, so it's seven, if the 11 hits, it's seven times whatever's wagered there. So in this case, you'd win $14, all right? Um, it's, uh, yep. One thing I'm, you know, one thing actually I'm gonna add in order for you, you to help with the keys on these other, other bets is that there's only two ways the dice roll. They either rolls uh, on the low side or on the high side. So there's either the hard way roll or a low way roll. So like it either rolls ace deuce, which is a low way roll, right? Or the 12, which is a hard way roll. So it's either a high or low. So every time we talk about betting on the, um, on the game, we work with our dealers. We, uh, we make that distinction because once you do that, then it's a little easier to put the keys together. So, so the 11 on the hop is a low way roll. It pays 16 for, it pays 16 for one or 15 to one um, in most casinos, okay? All right, so any two way bet, right? Where there, in this case, you have a low way and a high way, a hard way, right? Low, low, hard way. It pays, it, it's, it's real easy. It either pays seven, it pays seven times the bet or it pays out of zero. So in this case, so you have 30, one, minus two, so you have 30, 31 for one, minus two is 29. So the way we do that is blackjack out of zero, minus half the bet, or minus what's on the winner, okay? So it's that simple. So it's two, three. So two, a $2 blackjack pays $3. Add a zero is 30 minus what's on the winner, 29 bucks, all right? So again, on the low side of any two-way split bet, it's just seven times the bet. So it's seven times two is 14, okay? So if you're a new dealer, you just, it's really easy. You get to write on the layout, 16 for one. So 16 minus two, $14, and the player is still up to win, okay? On the high side, on any two-way bet, it's blackjack, add a zero, minus half the bet, or minus what's on the winner, or minus what's on the loser, however you want to look at it. But anyways, all right, so two, $2 blackjack pays three, right? Add a zero is 30, minus half the bet, 29, okay? So here, let's say, let's do this, let's do this again. $10, okay, and this is any two-way bet, all right, any two-way bet, low side, high side. Any high side hits, it's blackjack. So $10 bet on blackjack, on a normal blackjack table that pays three to two, right? So $10 pays 15, add a zero is 150, minus half the bet, 145. It's just that simple. Or on the low side, pays seven times the whole bet. So seven times 10 pays 70, okay? All right, moving to the, um, moving to, and that works for any. So, so four, one, three, two, five only comes easy. So any two-way split on five, whatever you put there is gonna pay seven times the bet. Let's say you throw up, I want the fives hopping for five bucks. It's gonna pay 35 bucks, seven times the bet. Okay, if I want the nines hopping for five bucks, it's gonna pay seven times the bet. Seven times five is 35, all right? Now, the next key, and this key is a kind of a gimme. It's part of my Dice Master assistance course for those of you who have difficulty, you know, working out these keys. And I'm gonna roll it, I'm gonna start with three-way craps, okay? So you have two hard ways, or two high ways, and a low way, right? So, the, or easy way. Easy way, ace, deuce, hard way, aces, and 12, okay? Easy way, and then ace, deuce, okay? Um, easy way, hard ways, okay? So one easy way, two hard ways, very easy, okay? So here we have $3. Now, if we look at this, it's 16, 4, 1, or 15, 2, 1, okay? So 16 minus 3 leaves $13. So what I do to make this real easy is any three-way bet, 
and the low way rolls, okay, or the easy way rolls, okay, it's double double the whole wager plus what's on the winner, okay? Now that looks a little bit weird here. So here it goes. Ready? Three. Double three is six. Double six is twelve. And we know there's one dollar on the winner, making it thirteen dollars. All right. The reason we use that key is let's say, for example, somebody throws up a seventy-five dollar three-way craps. You're gonna see it a lot. And this works for any any three-way easy way. Let's say even three-way seven. Seventy-five dollar three-way seven can be a very intimidating debt bet for the dealer. So here's what it is. It's very simple. 75, double 75 is 150, double 150 is 300, and by the way, there's a quarter on whichever seven won, right? So 150, 300, or 75, 150, $325 is the answer to that three-way bet. The same thing is in here, okay? So any easy way on a three-way bet, it's double, double, plus what's on the winner, okay? So as long as, you can break, as long as you know how much is bet on each of them, you can divide the bet by three, it's very easy to figure out, okay? Everybody got that? Double, double, plus what's on the winner. Easy, okay? So let's hear it, let's do this. $30 three-way craps, okay? Let's say you throw up $30 three-way craps, or any three-way combination, and any easy way roll. So let's say, let's say for, it's a three-way eight, okay? You know that it's, there's $10, right? So 30 divided by three is $10. You know there's $10 each way. So five one hits. So we're gonna go 30. Double 30 is 60. Double 60 is 120. Plus 10 pays 130 bucks. And you're still up to win. Just that easy. Okay, now you're saying, David, but I'm going for the big money. I want on the three-way craps. I'm going 30-way three-way craps. I'm hoping and praying the 12 with aces come. Ugh, it's even easier okay so here let's let's break this down to the dollars real quick so you can see how the math works okay so in this case this is 30 to 1 or it's a 31 for one table so 31 minus 3 is 28 dollars okay so here's what we do it's it's so easy all we do is we take the three dollars as a total bet we add a zero so three dollars becomes 30 right and we minus the losers, whatever the losers are, two units, boom, 28 bucks. 30 minus two losers is 28 bucks, right? All right, so let's do it for $30 real quick so we kind of figure out where we're at. So $30 means there's $10 away, okay? That means there's $10 in each number, okay? We're gonna go 30, we're gonna add a zero, 300, and we're gonna minus two losers, right? Minus $20 is $280 is what you're gonna win on a three-way, $30 three-way craps and aces rolls or any hard way combination rolls, okay? It's just the bet, add a zero, minus the losers, and boom, you're done. Unless you're at Caesars Palace, by the way, or one of the other casinos that doesn't pay quite as well, and then there's a whole nother key involved but anyways, there you go. That's your introduction to prop bets, and there's some keys to help figuring out. I know I didn't go over the horn high bets, but uh, those, are, those keys are 2511, uh, plus what's on the winner type thing, or just 2511. That's a little preview. We'll deal with those another time. Thank you very much for stopping by, and I look forward to uh, talking to you more about dice in the future. Take care. Thanks so much. Bye.